What do we want? Castle, Castle Crashers 2! When do we want it? After Alien Hominid Invasion, of course. Coming out on November 1st. Subscribe to watch it here. So it's no secret that everyone wants a sequel to the hugely successful and beloved Castle Crashers that came out all the way back in 2008, so roughly about 10 years ago. Wait, 10 years ago? Oh god, oh no! <laughs> So we all want it, but will Castle Crashes 2 ever be made? Let's look at the facts. So the Behemoth have released four mainstream games, that being Alien Hominid in 2004, Castle Crashes in 2008, Battle Block Theatre in 2013, and Pit People in 2017. If you had asked me if Castle Crashes 2 was possible a few years ago, I would have said no. But ask me now and I'll say maybe. That's because the behemoth have stated multiple times that they do not want to make sequels to their games. They want to keep creating original content. The behemoth want to see how far they can go before having to revisit a genre or make a sequel. And well, the behemoth might have found that limit. Looking at Steam statistics for Castle Crashers, you can see that it had an all time peak of 16,000 players. And this is the remastered version. Looking at the stats since the start of 2023, you can see that Castle Crashers has anywhere from 600 to 3,000 peak players a month, and it has reportedly sold 9.4 million units on Steam alone. In fact, in 2019, Castle Crashers was reported to have sold over 20 million units, so it is safe to say that it was a massive success. Now, looking at the statistics for Battle Block Theatre released after Castle Crashers, you can see that it had an all time peak of 14,269 people, just a little bit below Castle Crashers. Since the start of 2023, Battle Block Theatre can have between 300 to 1600 peak players, but that 1,686 peak players is a bit of an anomaly. What happened in July 2023? Battleblock Theatre has sold 5 million units on Steam, so still very successful. Now let's look at Pit People, the most recent behemoth game. Pit People had an all time peak of 2,455, a massive downgrade from Castle Crash's 16,000 and Battleblock Theatre's 14,000. And it does not get better from there. Since the start of 2023, Pit People's peak players ranges from from 50 to 100 players, selling 400,000 units on Steam. Now, Pit People is the most recent game, so yes, it has had less time on the market compared to Battlebot Theater and Castle Crashers, but as you can see from the past six months, Pit People is performing far less than the other two games. As I said before, the Behemoth do not want to make sequels and want to see how far they can keep pushing original games. While looking at these statistics, I think we can see why Alien Hominid is getting a sequel. Now I want to make it clear that I am not bashing pit people. I've never played it, I'm just reviewing the stats. So why is Alien Hominid getting a sequel and not Castle Crushers? Dan Paladin, co-founder of The Behemoth, has said in past interviews that he would not mind making a sequel for Alien Hominid, meaning the idea of an Alien Hominid 2 was always there. Unlike Castle Crushers, which he said he wasn't sure how the studio could continue the impact of the beat em up genre, saying The Behemoth kind of did what we thought it should be. This leads me on to my final point. One thing I really respect about the Behemoth is their commitment to make original, passionate games. What I mean by this is every Behemoth game is brimming with creativity and passion. They make games they want to make, no matter the success of certain genres and no matter of the trends at the time. In a past interview, Dan Paladin said, it's a really bad thing to compare any of our other games to Castle Crushers because there's some kind of magic in that game. Battle Block sold over a million copies and that's awesome, that's huge. And if you compare it to Castle Crashers, it doesn't seem like a success in comparison. Any other game studio would ride the success of their most popular games. I mean, that is what game studios are doing. It is so normal today that games released unfinished, rushed or just under delivers. And it's now quite rare that we get a game that actually comes out finished and isn't riddled with microtransactions. The Behemoth is one of those companies that put their community before profits. They could have easily ridden the success of Castle Crashers and made sequel after sequel, or riddled the game with microtransactions, skins, or battle passes, but they didn't. They respect their community and they make games they want to make. 
and that is one aspect of gaming that seems to be lost nowadays, passion. So let's bring it back to the original question, will there ever be a Castle Crushers 2? I think this sorely relies on two things, one being the success of Alien Hominid Invasion, the first sequel the Behemoth will ever make. If this game performs really well, then I can see there being an opportunity for more sequels in the future, but the second aspect once again is passion. If the Behemoth don't want to make a sequel to Castle Crushers, then they shouldn't make one. I would love a Castle Crushers 2, just like everyone else, but I would not like to see a lifeless game churned out for profits and community demand. If the Behemoth do not want to make it, then they shouldn't. And we as a community need to respect that. With that being said, let's see that Battle Block Theater 2. Buckle your pants, buckle your pants, but 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 buckle your pants. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I am really excited for Alien Hominid Invasion and I will be streaming it, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.